Now, when a yo is trying to protect her young and is very aware that there is a local predator around, you see how she's holding her head low. It's kind of a protective manner in that she can leap up really quickly. If her head was upright, she wouldn't be able to leap up as quickly to defend her lamb. So she's in a very defensive mode of lying down. And that's purely because there's a dog in the vicinity. The lamb hasn't a clue that there's an issue. And as you can see, this person is not gonna do anything wrong. But that's that low slung manner, and particularly the head carried low like that of the yo, is a defensive manner of lying. Like, I know there's a predator in the vicinity, and I will leap up in a millisecond to defend my lamb if anything happens. And you can see the lamb is blissfully ignorant and just says, oh, it's so nice to lie here next to Mammy. So they're trying to look invisible is the other thing. She's trying to be insignificant so that the predator, Inca, will not do anything to her. So it's a kind of protective defensive mechanism. When they lie with their head upright, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> lots of tree plot pollen at the moment is what I'm sneezing about. And then the rest of the flock of lambs is over here. Yeah. There's Gotcha and her ram lamb settling down for a lie down amongst the scrub plum. This is, there's just a bit with her daughter Loverly Bit. And then these guys are out and doing a lot of chatting at the moment. So everybody's here. She's a good mama. And as those of you can see who are worried, well, he's almost there. There he goes, suckling. Mama's grazing, which makes it difficult to suckle. And they're both on the same teat. Hopefully they'll start drinking from both teats. They probably are. Yeah, you're feeling chilly because you're out in a little bit of a breeze. They'll get there in the end. You can see they're both slightly humpy but that's because they're out of doors for the first time and there's a bit of a chilly breeze. But Mama's very good.